For today's sponsor we have GVG Mall, where you can acquire your Windows 10 Home serial key for only $16 and using my SKEG discount code will get you 20% off, making it only $11. After the payment, you'll receive the key in your account and after getting it, you simply need to introduce it in your Windows settings and BAM! You have an activated system. Somebody can see <laughs> Hello guys, it's Shinkin Plays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, we have finally another review of the AMD Adrenaline Drivers, this time with a 22.1.1, as I say in Oh my video! 22 is the year, 2022. One is the month, January. And the another one, the other one, is the revision in that same month, so the first revision of January. But well, optional driver 22.1.1. Let's go to the release notes. First of all, we have support for Monster Hunter Rise. And we also have support for God of War with up to 7% increase at 4K settings on the RX 6900 XT, 6800 XT and 6700 XT. So if you're playing God of War, you may want these drivers or not, because if we go, for example, with, a, with an example like Forza Horizon 5, well, the drivers did an absolutely amazing job at increasing the performance from 60 frames in my 6800 from an average of 60, 65 to 100, 105. It's, it's crazy the performance difference, okay? As for God of War, it seems to be uh, way less, so up to 7% and maybe at 1080p and 1440p a bit more as well. But still, if you're gonna play God of War, you may want these drivers, okay? Yeah. Now let's go to the really interesting part of the fixed issues. Connecting multiple displays with high display bandwidth and differences in vertical intervals to a system may lead to high idle memory clock values being experienced by some users. So, I read several times that people with multi-monitors were still having this issue of having the VRAM at high clocks in idle, okay? And at least yesterday I tested these drivers on Vasco's computer, the, the my friend that actually lent me the RTX 3060 to test, so I lent him the, the 6600 XT for him to keep playing. He has dual monitors and I tested those drivers, the 22.1.1, and at least in that scenario it was fixed. So let me know in the comment section if you were having this problem and if it is now fixed or not, okay? Now, after upgrading to the latest Radeon software, the power tuning component of a saved tuning profile may not load correctly when a user imports a previously saved tuning profile. So this was happening only with the 21.12.1. Uh, the previous ones were, work were working fine, like the 21.11.3 or 0.2. They were working fine. The 21.12.1 was not and was indeed failing to load profiles from the previous driver versions, okay? So now you can load your previous profile and it will work once again. The third one is, when some users zoom in during Halo Infinite gameplay, they may experience visual corruption on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 5600 XT graphics. So if you're having, if you were having these problems on Halo Infinite, let me know in the comment section if they're fixed or not. And the last one is, flickering may be observed when playing Fortnite on some AMD graphics products such as Radeon RX 6800 XT graphics using DirectX 12 with Radeon Boost enabled. I mean, I understand this is a problem, but who the hell is actually using Radeon Boost on an RX 6800 XT? Nobody. Now let's go to the known issues. As for the known issues, we have the Enhanced Sync meme. Enhanced Sync, black screens. Yes, we all know. Enhanced Sync, some people have black screens with Enhanced Sync, like, th like those two or three people that have these problems. I used Enhanced Sync in all my computers uh, at a point just to test and everything was fine, so no black screens. The Enhanced Sync was sometimes not working properly, but Absolutely no black screen, so whatever. Radeon performance metrics and logging features may intermittently report extremely high and incorrect memory clock values. 
So this is an issue occurring for like the previous like like three or four driver versions and yeah needs to be f to be fixed so basically the performance uh, metrics are incorrect in some scenarios. And the last known issue is while playing Borderlands 3 with DirectX 12 with Raven Boost enabled, longer than expected loaded times may be observed on some AMD graphics products such as the Radeon RX 6800 XE. Now we go back to the same thing, okay? Radeon Boost and the X12 don't seem to function as they should, at least in some games, as we can see in, in Fortnite and now on Borderlands, at least the Fortnite one is fixed, and it happens that we will have longer load times with uh, the Radeon Boost enabled and the X12 on the 6800 XT, but once again, if you have a 6800 XT, the game will perform really, really well, so why use Radeon Boost? Now, overall, it is all the same. It is basically an improved 21.12.1 drivers. And one thing that I noticed is that on my AMD, AMD build, so AMD CPU slash AMD GPU build, everything is completely normal. But on my Intel slash AMD build, so Intel CPU, AMD GPU, where I had FreeSync before, I now have VRR, so variable refresh rate, instead of having the FreeSync nomenclature. So instead of having FreeSync, I have VRR. I mean, it's basically the same, it is the same, but it is funny to see that they actually changed from FreeSync to VRR, although I have a FreeSync monitor and indeed um, a FreeSync card, so an AMD card, so it makes no sense to, to have VRR instead of FreeSync, because it, like I said, it's a FreeSync monitor and a FreeSync card, so... Whatever, I don't know, they changed that and only on my Intel build. The previous drivers all said FreeSync, this one says VRR. And another thing that changed is also on the overclocking part, where we have the AMD Smart Access Memory. On the previous drivers, it also said AMD Smart Access Memory because I have indeed an AMD card. It isn't resizable bar, it is AMD Smart Access Memory. But now on the new driver, it says resizable bar because I have an Intel CPU instead of an AMD one, so it says resizable bar instead of AMD Smart Access Memory. And in terms of problems, in my experience, we just have one, okay? And it is the same as the 21.12.1 drivers, which is basically the washed out colors on video playback. So if you are using, for example, on, on YouTube, it should be fine, but for example, if you are using Media Player Classic to to play back a video on your computer, not on the internet, then your colors will be washed out, okay? The colors won't be as vivid, uh, and this is a problem with the 21.12.1 drivers, the same for the 22.1.1, okay? If you are using, for example, the 21.11.2, the um, my recommended ones, at least for the 6800 XT, or the 21.11.3, you'll be completely fine because the colors aren't washed out, but on these two drivers, this is a problem. And well guys, thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video, leave your comment in the comment section, and as always, let me and let us all know uh, what is your experience with these drivers, for us to help uh, each other like a community that we are, um, and yeah, see you in the next video, and stay with the performance comparison videos. Yeah, <laughs> see you in the next one. I don't want to upset your rhythm, Cal, but the boss wants a word. It's gonna be good for us. Here he is, Chief.
An error has been detected on line 10A. All our clamps are jammed. I need two workers to climb up and secure the cables. That's not an easy maneuver. The gap will double your pay for this shift. Fuck hell. What's her score? Couldn't hurt.